Welcome to two weeks later. So two weeks ago ish, I showed Zach the little Yachty album. Let's start here. Yep. So I've had two weeks to digest the album, loved it off the first listen, and I dove way into Lil Yachty and nice. the production on this album. So I'm going to talk about my three favorite songs and kind of just give you guys an overview of what I thought of the album. So first off, I would say my third favorite song is Say Something. One nice. thing I really liked about Say Something is the drums. I just felt like they were, they were sick. Yeah, really fast paced. It reminded me almost of like something that you'd hear from the Jackson 5 or straight mm. out of the... It had like the 70s vibe that wasn't really as psychedelic as the rest of the stuff. It's a little bit more synth poppy, I feel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard the band Portugal the Man, but it's got this mm. really cool like echo on the snare drum that hits real good and, ne and it never gets annoying throughout the mm. song. I just love it. Sick. Um, love that one. I also really like it because I feel like Yachty is not as drowned in auto-tune on it. Like, you kind of hear some vocal runs that he does throughout it. So I just feel like he got his confidence almost as he was making it, you know, instead of earlier songs where he's just kind of floating over the top of it, which I think is really cool, too. Yeah. See, I don't mind the auto-tune. I love the auto-tune. No, so. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I do, too. I just, I love to hear right. that the confidence variations. in his voice of, like literally like doing some you know r vocal runs, runs and stuff like that i also really liked the bass in the song it had this distortion that kind of gave it like a funky vibe so overall i don't know i just i really dug that song nice with it being later in the album i thought it was just a cool change up for sure my second favorite song i would say is probably drive me crazy oh, okay yeah so um drive me again, crazy <laughs> yeah his titles man so, <laughs> i just don't i don't get it but whatever once again i just love the upbeat vibes on this song i thought it was a nice change up like i love the psychedelic slower stuff but having that upbeat vibe i thought was really cool this song is also really cool because we get the female vocal feature yes. along with yachty so it's just gives you that like you know whole different vibe especially towards the end of this song where he's sort of yachty's trading off mm -hmm. uh with her i just thought that was really cool once again very confident thing to do for him on such a change of an album so shout out to that and then my favorite song i already know it <laughs> black seminal the black seminal <laughs> man uh, it's so good <laughs> just from the very start of this song, like what a great choice for an opener for an album, yep. especially when you're taking such a left turn on your sound. This one is just such a banger. Right. Every single part of it is that, like, so- like synth that starts it out. Ooh. You're like, what, what am I listening just to? It's like almost aliens. Just taking to a different universe, yeah. man. The guitar, the whole vibe, Yachty over the top of it with the auto-tuned vocals. Mm -hmm. It's just so avant-garde. It's amazing. One of like, Almost seven minutes, I think, for an intro song. Oh my like, God. who does that? Yeah. That's bold. And even the lyrics, like, what's wrong, Mr. Man, and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's kind of goofy, but, like, no. man, it's so Confident. good. It's so good. And it just, like, once I once I heard that song, I was sold on the whole album. And I was like, I, I would just want to learn more about this. And if you guys go and watch, like, his interview with Zane Lowe, mm -hmm. uh, there's some other That's stuff on YouTube. I know he's talked, like, on his own podcast with Drake a little bit about this whole experience so just kind of to go into it like he didn't release anything for a year knew that he was going to do this left turn into into music but he didn't want to drop anything he didn't he didn't want to be known as that that yachty anymore right came in did this album was heavily involved in all of the production of it um and yeah just you know to to do something that bold and to have it work out in the way that it has i think it's just so so awesome so shout out to Lil yachty um and shout out to you for showing me this yeah, album dude. man yeah i mean you you gotta take risks i mean if you don't take risks you're not trying anything new you're not trying to innovate you're not trying to push yourself and he risked it here this could have bombed it could have totally. sounded terrible and people could have hated him even more than a lot of the memes and stuff totally we're dude. making fun of his older stuff so yeah I applaud him for that because yeah i think he hit it out of the park it's a great album from front to back i don't there's no skips when i listen to this no. it's just a vibe the whole thing whole thing yeah and i love the whole i mean we talked about it in our episode how the last track kind of ends with that same almost alien synth totally and then it kind of repeats 
yeah from the it's beginning. made it's it's and old records were like that yeah. like they were meant to you know to kind of be an experience like that that you could just loop yeah. and one thing i was telling him before we started filming is when this project leaked it was actually called I believe the Sonic Ranch, which mm -hmm. I think is a cooler name actually than let's start here. I just think it fits the vibe. Yeah. But let's start here also makes sense because like this is very much a, a chapter two of right. Lil Yachty. And I invention. just gotta give him respect to like what you said about, you know, taking risks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because if you go and look at his Wikipedia, like he has been a successful musician, but I don't think he's been taken seriously since mm -hmm. day one. I mean, I didn't take him seriously at all until I heard this. Yeah. He said he wanted to be respected. And, and yeah, I and shout him. out to that just yeah. as an artist, you know, I mean, to be like, I'm going to try something new and I'm going to try something bold. And he did it and it was successful. And I just, I, I love to see it. Yep, for sure. Yeah. So, love this album. I've been playing it so much. Me still. too, man. It's, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, shout out. Shout out Yachty, shout out the artists out there who are just taking risks. Yeah. Keep on doing it. For sure. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, let us know. Um, and if, if you guys like other songs, let us know about that too. Yeah, maybe drop maybe your, you don't like our songs. Yeah, drop drop your favorite song from Let's Start Here yep. uh, in the comments. And let us know how we can improve this series. It's brand new. We just wanted to bring you guys more of our thoughts kind of on the album after we've had some time to digest it. So. Yep. We'll catch you in the next one. Yep, thanks for watching. Peace. Later.